Hello guys, what's going on? And in this video today, I'm going to be talking about Windows 11. I'm going to be showing you how to actually get it for completely free and install it on your PC. Also, if this is your first time watching me, do consider dropping a like on the video and subscribing to my channel as we are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And also remember to leave a comment down below as well. So let's go ahead and get straight into the video. So today is the 24th of June and Windows 11 was officially announced today. We have seen a trailer for it. So firstly, I'm going to explain why it's free and why some people are going to have to pay for it. So if you're like me and you currently have a PC with a version of Windows 10 installed, this here is going to be a free upgrade for you. Now, a good way to check what Windows you have installed is just simply type in Windows and you can see it does say check for updates. And once you're here, go to OS build and system info. So for me, I have Windows 10. And if you also have Windows 10, it is going to be a free upgrade for you from Windows 10 to Windows 11, meaning you won't have to pay a penny and it is gonna be just a simple update, which is what we all like to hear. But obviously if you are looking to buy a new computer, you are gonna to have to buy an active Windows 11 key to actually get it installed on that PC. But for anyone right now who does have Windows 10, it's just gonna be a simple upgrade and it is gonna be an update that gets you from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Next, I'm gonna be talking about who can actually do this update because there are minimum system requirements to go from Windows 10 to Windows 11. And unfortunately, if you don't meet those minimum system requirements, requirements, you won't be able to get Windows 11. So to get Windows 11, the minimum hardware requirements are a dual core processor with at least one gig clock speed, 64 gigs of free space in your drive, and four gigs of RAM. And there are also some other small system requirements, such as TPM 2.0 and DirectX 12 compatible graphics, and also a nine inch display with at least a 1366 by 768 resolution. But if you're like me and you have all of those on your system, all you need to do now is wait for the update to release. So Windows 11 was officially announced today on the 24th of June. And as of next week, they are gonna be rolling this update out in beta. So the best thing to do to ensure that you get this update as fast as you can is do what I'm about to show you. When you're on your computer just every day just go down to the search bar here and type in Windows and you can see there's an area called check for updates and this is exactly where the Windows 11 update is going to be and you can see mine says you're up to date but every day I'm just going to click on the check for updates button and anytime from next week starting in July they are going to be rolling this update out and it will say Windows 11 update. And once you've got that, all you need to do is actually install it and it will restart your computer. And then you will have Windows 11 for completely free installed on your PC. But that is everything that you guys need to know for today's video. Once again, if you did enjoy, remember to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And feel free to comment down below any questions that you might have. But that is all for today. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.